at these venture capital events and and uh, in the global ecosystem, there is a Bitcoin derangement syndrome. You mentioned Bitcoin, and most economists I find and traditional venture investors, which have made money in traditional markets, will be immediate, and they're not like uh, innovators. They immediately are like, oh no, that's a scam, or no, that's bad, and they don't really give it that kind of credit. So I think I think it's something uh, uh, something for real. Can you repeat the question? Yeah. So I want to comment on that that the economists that we're seeing uh, comment like that are of the Keynesian monetarist, uh, monitored monetarist schools. Whereas with the Austrians, you mentioned some of them, they they are big fan of Bitcoin, if only from a freedom of monetary choice perspective. Do you have any comments on that? Yeah, the, the challenge there is that there's no Austrians in government. <laughs> I mean, like, you don't have the Austrian economists talking at these, um, you know, I, you know, some, I'm, you, you see me with my, 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 my Buddhist beads and my, my casualness, but you know, I go to these other events where everyone's in a suit and they, they have the economists on stage and it's always like an ex-head of state economist or someone from LSE or, and, and they're pure Keynesian freedom, freedom mentality and their COP26 mentality that, you know, they're talking about the transitory nature of the inflation and, the, and they really don't talk about supply and demand of the, of the currency itself or the commodity nature of currency. Currency is essentially a commodity. And it's weird to watch that. It just feels like I'm in a surreal, you know, vacuum backstage and watching this play happen out there while um, economists are talking to each other and they're ignoring certain facts like Bitcoin and, and other and other factors. But yeah, well, I mean, it's it's playing out. You know, the great thing about history is you you know history defines itself in the future. <laughs> You know, so in 10 years, we'll look back and we'll either have been incredibly right or maybe we missed something, you and I, and, and they, have something, uh, they have something that we don't see. It um, doesn't feel that way.